Did you know that your photo designing and editing can be done all within Canva? Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers so that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. First of all, we need to take a photo. So, here we go. I'm just gonna come in here and take a photo here. Just arrange it so I like my shot. So in your Canva app, you're gonna press the plus sign and then you're gonna see the option to edit photo. So you can select that. It's gonna ask you where to choose your photo from. So you can choose the file, take the photo, or add it from your photo library. I just took the photo, so I'm gonna add it from my photo library. Here is my photo. At the bottom, it's gonna give you the size. By clicking on the size, you are gonna get an option to compress the image to make it smaller. I strongly suggest you don't do that because the bigger the quality of the image, the better it will look when you're editing it because it has more pixels for you to use rather than compressing them and not allowing you to have as much flexibility within your edit. So actual size and let's choose that. So now it's gonna allow you to add your post to the proper canvas based on where you're going to be posting your photo. So you have Instagram post, Instagram story, Facebook post, Facebook cover, a poster. So depending on your output, where you wanna share the photo, you can adjust this. I'm gonna go with Instagram story. You notice that there is a white line on the top and on the bottom. That means I'm probably gonna to have to zoom this image in if I want it to fill the entire frame or I'm going to have to add another element to it. So let's just create that. So there we go. Now to edit my image, I just click on my image and you'll see there's a menu that appears at the bottom of my screen. This is going to allow me to edit the image itself. There's many options. The ones I wanna give a focus to is effects. Effects allows you to do different effects on the image and Canva is constantly updating these. So you can see I can face retouch. So if I select this, I select auto, it's automatically going to retouch my face. It's gonna look a little blurry at first. If you press done, then you can see what it's going to look like. So it automatically retouched everything. So you can see instantly I have great skin. It also allows you to play with the focus. This doesn't work as well. It works good if you're separated from the background. So you can see I can change the blur intensity. And then I can change the position of the blur. So basically it does the blur based on the distance. So if I wanna stand up for my background, this is a great effect. I'm gonna go done. I'm going to go back. So if you did something and you don't like the effect of it, you can press the back button to undo. I'm just gonna undo that. And I'm also going to show you background remover. So if I select this, just have to wait a second for it to process. And then you see it's going to remove that background for me. Unfortunately, when you use the background remover on your phone, it's not going to let you fine tune it as much as it would on a computer. So let's restore that, bring my background back in, and let's look at how else we can edit the photo. So let's go over to filters. Here, these are just generic filters that I can add and they give a different effect, each of them. And then I can also adjust the intensity of them and so I can increase them or decrease them. This is kind of tricky because it's hard to find an effect that's going to look good with your image. It can create an effect on multiple images, but there's another way to edit photos. I'm gonna show you the best way, which is next. So let's back out of that. Back, back, back. There we go, so we're out of there. Let's click on that image again. And then at the bottom, you're gonna see adjust. Here you're able to adjust all these 
qualities within your images. So you have brightness, you can increase your contrast, so your contrast is your darks. You can increase your saturation, so it just makes all the colors pop more. Your tint, your tint changes the look of the overall image, so you can see I can either change it to red, change it to green, but this is gonna, oftentimes if you're doing this with a photo of your face, it's going to play around with the skin tone, so it's not gonna look as natural. Uh, blur, so I can blur the image. This is great if I'm using an image and then I want something to pop in front of it, so if I have a text element in front, that that could be great. Uh, Vinette is going to add this black, around um, the outside of my photo. This was very popular with film. Warmth is just gonna add either blue or yellow to my image. So if I go to the positives, it's gonna make it yellow. This is good if an image is too blue and you wanna warm it up, or you just wanna warm up the look of it. And then if I go to the negatives, it's going to make it a little bit more blue. This is great for if you took a photo inside using yellow lights and you want it to look, have more of an outdoor look to it, you can just make it a little bit cooler. Clarity. Clarity is going to make your lines pop more. This is kind of like a cartoon effect if you go overboard with it. I suggest not adding too much clarity, a tad bit is good. Vibrance is making the mid-tones, so not the highlights or the lowlights, but the mid-tones within your image brighter, so you can see it adds a saturation, like an increase of saturation, but in a nice way. And then highlights, so highlights are anything that's light in your image, so you can increase your highlights, so make all the bright spots brighter, or you can decrease your highlights by making the bright spots darker. A great example of when you would need to decrease your highlights is if your sky is overexposed and you want to try to add some highlights back into your sky. Shadows is the same thing, but it does it for the dark parts in your image. So you can see if I increase it, you can see like my shirt and inside my hair, it gets a little bit lighter. And then if I decrease it, it adds contrast and it makes the dark parts even darker. And then fade is just going to make it fade and look more film-like. So if you want your image to look more film-like and just to fade and not be as prominent in your design, then that is great. And then that is how you can adjust it. So once you adjust it, say if I'm creating this as a story, I can change the sizing of mine. I can fill the frame with the image. But you see, as I film the frame with my image, it is going to crop in the image a little bit more. So say I don't want to crop this image, I don't want to zoom in in it, I want to use this image like this, but I want it as a story. So you do see the white. What I suggest you do is you click on that white and then click on color, pick the color that you want to change, and then that way it still stays on brand. Once you're done editing your photo and you like it, all you do is click the save button on the top and it's going to save your design for you in your camera roll. If you're interested in trying Canva Pro, please use my code in the description. It's gonna help you and me at the same time. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace!